Hello and welcome to our virtual Victorian tour here for Culture Night 2020 at the Battle of the Boyne. My name is Sarah and today I'm standing in the housekeeper's room which is located directly across from the coal store as to allow her to keep an eye on the dry goods store there. This lady was given the title Mrs, whether married or not. Housekeepers could easily be identified by their sober appearance and enormous set of keys, known as a chantelaine. The housekeeper would have practical knowledge, such as basic first aid. The housekeeper was in charge of setting a pattern of work for the year. For example, she would organise the decoration of the interior of the house and write up a schedule for the cleaning rosters. A very important role for this lady was supervising the various inventories, such as the household china and linen. Next, I will bring you into the laundry room and show you various different implements used by the staff here at Oldbridge. Here we stand in the laundry room of Oldbridge basement. There would have been many people employed here to take care of the household textiles and also the occupants' clothing. This would have been a luxury in the Victorian times as it was really only affordable for well-to-do families. The housekeeper would record all the laundry collected by the laundry maid in her book and catalogued each item that was washed during the week. These implements here were used to wash the laundry by hand. Greasy cloths could have been steeping for days before being boiled. To make the detergent solution, solid blocks of soap were grated and dissolved in hot water. Once the clothing was washed, it was starched and left here to dry in the pulley system. There were various different remedies that a laundry maid would have used on the linen to remove stains. Household items such as lemon juice were used on ink stains and boiling milk could have been lifted wine marks. This implement here is a bed warmer. It would have been filled with hot stone and they were very valuable possessions handed down throughout generations and if you were wealthy enough they would have also been decorated. This box here is known as a valet box. A valet would have been employed to the head of the household. He would accompany his master on all of his journeys and expected to be very respectful and polite. At the beginning of each day, the valet would accompany his master for his morning routine. He was asked to shave his master and often acted as a hairdresser. If the master was going out, he would have his clothes laid out for the day, have polished his shoes, hand him his cane, gloves and hat brushed and wiped down using a soft brush and a handkerchief. The valet would wait the master's return with a prepared room for him to come home to. He would hand him his dressing gowns and slippers and once everything was in order, he could then retire for the evening. So next, my colleague Graham will take you into the wine cellar. Hi, my name is Graham and welcome to the wine cellar of Albert House. This is where all wine was stored in the house. This was a passive wine cellar. Passive wine cellars are not climate controlled and are usually built underground to reduce temperature swings. The wine cellar was the responsibility of the butler of Albridge House. The butler had to know about price and quality of the wine, as well as the racking and bottling of malt liquors. The butler would enter every bottle used into the cellar book, and he alone enters the wine cellar. The butler had duties other than the running of the wine cellar. His domestic duties included serving breakfast and waiting upon the family. When breakfast was over, the butler would remove the china and plates for which he is responsible. At lunchtime, the butler had the responsibility of arranging the meal. At dinner time, the butler placed silver plated articles on the table and sees that everything was in its place. He then oversees the meals being served. The butler's place was behind his master's chair. When the first course was over, the butler's place was at the sideboard where he would serve the wines. When dinner was over, the butler would then oversee that the drawing room is in order for the family and then return to the butler's house prepared to answer the bell if the family required his services. The butler's last duties were at bedtime. He would see that all doors and windows in the house were secured and ensure that all fires in the house were safe. 